What's up, you guys? It's Kelly here with Summit Healthcare, bringing you another workout of the week. Today, I've got a daily stretch routine for you. This is a routine that you can utilize in your home every single day. I've organized it so these are exercises you can do in your bed before you even get up and as soon as you're getting up out of bed and moving into your day. To follow along with these exercises, you can either follow along with me on the floor, you can follow along on the couch, or meet me in bed. <laughs> to follow along with these exercises, you can do these on the floor or on your couch in the meantime, and then utilize them on your own every morning in bed. The first stretches we're going to do are gonna be the stretches that you can do before you even get out of bed. So, we're gonna lie on back like we just woke up. And we're gonna bring one knee up towards the chest. We're gonna use our hands to assist. And we're gonna give ourselves a gentle knee hug here. Now you can take those hands under that hamstring if you need right behind the leg just to help support the knee there and to bring that leg nice and close to the body. And we're gonna hold each stretch for about 15 seconds. So we're gonna gently take that leg down and then we're gonna lift the other one up, bringing it towards the chest. Remember, we can use our hands over to give ourselves a gentle knee hug, or we can take those hands under the leg, bringing the knee towards the chest. And we're just gonna take a couple deep breaths here. Counting to 15 seconds. And release. Now we're gonna go into the figure four stretch, which we do from a seated position sometimes. So I'm going to plant both feet, bending the knees on my bed, and I'm going to cross one ankle over the other thigh. Now, some of you might feel a stretch right here. If we need a deeper stretch, I'm going to use my hands to grab this hamstring, and I'm going to lift and bring it towards my chest. Now you should feel a deeper stretch through these glutes and through the thighs. Just taking in a couple deep breaths. Counting to 15 seconds. Good, we'll lower that foot back down, I'm gonna uncross, and I'm gonna take the other leg up and over, reaching my hands for this hamstring so I can make that stretch deeper. Taking in some deep breaths. Here we're feeling that stretch again in that outer area, so in our glutes all the way up into our thigh. Good, I'm gonna lower that foot down, uncross my legs here. And this time, while I'm here with my knees bent, my feet are gonna come close together, and I'm just gonna let my knees fall apart. Now, some of you might start feeling a stretch through your inner thighs right here. Some of you might be able to go down pretty far. And we're just laying here. We're trying to push our back down into the bed here. So I'm actually activating my core, getting a stretch through my hips and my inner thighs. And we're just taking in a couple nice deep breaths.
And once I've counted to about 15 seconds, I'm going to sit up in my bed, keeping my legs long. I'm gonna come up into a seated hamstring stretch. So you can use your pillows propped up behind you. And we just wanna start waking up the back here for a forward fold stretch. So we're sitting in our bed, walking our hands down the legs as far as you can go, relaxing your head, neck, and shoulders. Nice big deep breaths here. And when you're ready, we're gonna take our feet down to the floor and we're gonna sit on the edge of the bed. Now that we've moved from laying down, we're sitting at the edge of the bed here. And I'm just gonna start with a neck stretch. And I'm gonna start by tucking that chin down, kind of pushing my neck back. You should feel a nice stretch through your cervical spine, right through the back of the neck. So I'm gonna tuck that chin and then I'm gonna relax. And then I'm gonna tuck that chin and relax. We're gonna do that five times total. So I'm gonna tuck, stretching through the back of the neck and release. We're gonna do that two more times, tucking the chin. Release, last time tuck the chin. And release. Now that we've done our laying down stretches and our seated stretch, we're going to stand using the edge of the bed for support. Now I'm going to be holding on to the edge of my bed. You can also move to a chair and use a chair for support. We're going to do a standing quad stretch. So that is when we lift our heel towards our gluteals. And I'm going to grab a hold of either my sh sock shoe or my ankle. And I am trying to get my hips square to the front. I'm squeezing this back glute for stability. And you should feel an intense stretch through the front of the thigh, all the way through your quads. Now, if you have trouble reaching your ankle, you can use a towel where we wrap the ankle in a towel and then we pull that towel behind the body for extra support. Or if this gives you too much knee trouble, then we stretch it just by going into that lunge position and tilting our hips forward and you should feel it right down through the same area. So let's go ahead and switch. I'm gonna reach for my other ankle here, stretching the quads in my standing quad stretch using your chair or the edge of the bed for support. And again, if you have trouble reaching for the ankle, you can keep a towel near the bed or you can go into that lunge position. And we'll hold each one for 15 seconds at the least. You can always hold your stretches up to 30, 45 seconds if you're feeling extra tight. Now you're gonna be facing the edge of your bed using it to hold onto. And what we're gonna be doing is a nice wide stance, side to side lunges here. So we're holding onto the bed and we're just gonna be lunging side to side. We wanna make sure we're hinging those hips back and our torso forward keeping a nice, long, stiff spine. And we can do 
these for about 30 seconds here. So we get 15 seconds each leg. This just helps really open up through the hips. Good. When you're ready, you can stay in that wide stance and you're gonna lay your arms on that bed. So if we were to utilize a chair, we'd be here. So your arms are on the bed and we're just gonna go into a nice forward fold here, pushing those hips back. And we wanna utilize the arms so we can get a stretch through the shoulders and the chest here. get those hips back and the more you can press down towards the floor the deeper stretch you'll get through the upper body and back and we'll roll up you can utilize the edge of your bed here for our cat cows so we just round the spine and arch the back so we just go back and forth here about 15 seconds And just follow the natural breath, inhaling and exhaling. Good, and when you're ready, we stand up and we're gonna utilize the side of the bed for a side bend. So I'm going to cross my outside leg if I am standing next to the bed. I'm gonna cross that leg over in front and I'm gonna lean over into a nice easy side bend. Stretching through your lats, your ribs. You can feel how tight that gets just from sitting. And we'll hold each side about 15 seconds. Good, and then we'll do the other side. So you'll turn, crossing that outside leg to the inside and taking that arm up and over for the side bend. the wall so you can use a doorway or if you have a empty wall space but we're going to be opening up the chest here so I'm going to place my hand on the wall so my right arm is going to be on the wall and it's kind of behind my body and I'm going to just walk so I can start to straighten that arm out and this might be enough of a stretch for you if not, I'm going to rotate away from the wall, so I'm pulling away, and I'm going to feel a nice deep stretch through my chest and the shoulders here. You don't want to necessarily lock that elbow out or stretch the nerve too much, so it's just nice and easy, and this one we hold only about 10 seconds, and then we're going to switch sides. So I take that hand just behind my body a little bit. I walk forward until that arm is straight and then I'm gonna rotate away from the wall for a deeper stretch. Make sure your arm's not up too high or not down too low, just right about shoulder height. and release. And the last one that I like to finish with is a forward fold. So you can use 
uh, the side of the bed if you need to hold on to, or just start to lower the body down. You always want to keep a soft bend in those knees, just a little bend. Allow your head, neck, and shoulders to relax. And we'll slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. And now you are all stretched out and ready to begin your day. I hope you found this routine helpful and that you feel all stretched out and ready for your day. Doing mobility every single day is super important for the health of your joints and your muscles and flexibility. Give this routine a try a couple days this week. Let me know what you think.